going to come back on the karmic tenfold. Um, so this is part two. I'm sorry, my phone just cut out. So a lot of that is going to come back on the the um, the karmic tenfold for you know whatever she sent out is you know like I said coming back on her. So in the last video we looked into what the divine feminine is feeling. Now we're going to look into what the masculine is feeling. Some of them are trying to move forward, but it's like they're still nostalgic. And it's like, you know, rightfully so. You're going to be nostalgic, you know. Like your spirit guides, the divine feminine spirit guides are going to remind the masculine of the divine feminine. It's not like he's just going to be able to just cut out just like that. So some of them are trying to, you know, focus on finances or work. But there's still this nostalgia and pain there. And honestly, if you know, from the masculines that are trying to hold on to an old stagnant job, it's like that job's going to end no matter what you do. You think you can outsmart the people around you that are trying to rip you off or whatever, but you can't, you know. And it's not saying that you're not smart or anything. It's just saying like, you know, because I'm, get, I'm getting this energy. Some of them are trying to hold on to, you know, it's like they're nostalgic, but they're trying not to focus on this nostalgia. They're trying to focus on what they've been studying and working towards. And it's like, you, you know, if you're working towards like a new business, new career, then yeah, you can totally focus on that. But if you're, for those of you that are trying to, for those masculines that are trying to hold on to an old job where there's toxic people around, it's not going to last. Like, you're going to, you're going to end up losing that job because the divine wants more for you. They want you to be in a good situation. They don't want you to be stuck in, um, you know, an old stagnant job. So they're going to, you know, it's just not going to work. Because some of you are like trying to, some of these masculines are like trying to hold on to something. Like they're trying to hold on. They're trying to sabotage. They're trying to hold on to their comfort zones. They're trying to hold on to, um, to money. You know, kind of in the middle of like a battle right here, it looks like, you know, kind of being controlling, kind of going along with what society thinks. Some of them might be even um, lying to people about you to make themselves feel better. Like, oh, like, I never, you know, I wasn't that into her. Or I didn't love her that much. It's like, why would you even say that? You know, some of them are still holding on. It's sad because, you know, so many of them just got away from the karmic, but yet they're still holding on to control issues. They're still holding on to old stagnant situations. And they saw with the karmic, like, what happens when, you know, when you try to hold on to something that's toxic and that's controlling and manipulative like that, you know, like everything kind of exploded with the, with the karmic. There was like an explosive argument. And it's like, if they had just let go of those control issues early on, that wouldn't, you know what I mean? Like they could have, there was, there's probably like an easier way to move, move out of that energy a long time ago, but they just didn't take that way. Um, but it's like the, the spirit, their spirit guides want them to be free. They want them to be they want them. They, they want them to live a long, happy life on Earth. They want them to, um, to you know, wrap up these control issues. It's like, you know, because the mass ones are starting to see if they hold on to things that are hurting them, if they hold on to people in situations that are toxic, you know, their spirit guides are going to intervene and they're going to take that away from them because they want them to have more than that. They want them to have their own business, their own career. They don't want them stuck in these unhealthy jobs and unhealthy living situations anymore. Um, but some of these masculines are still holding on to these control issues. And, you know, I feel like it's, I feel like it is wrapping up though. I feel like they are like with the world here. It's like the cycle is finally wrapping up, even though some of them, it's like they're letting, it's like they're kind of halfway letting go and halfway holding on. Um, they're making progress. I do feel like they're making progress at least. Like they're they're the control issues aren't as bad as they used to be at least. So that's positive. But um, 
you know, with the world here, it's like the cycle is ending where they are letting go of these control issues. They are letting go of these old stagnant jobs. They are letting go of, um, you know, just the, you know, just toxic situations. And they're making a judgment call, it seems to. What's this judgment call about? Knight of Wands reversed. Got the star, the devil, the five of wands. Sorry, let me move that up for you guys. The king of swords. The ace of wands. Queen of cups. Yeah, I think so many of them are realizing that they do have a new start here. Because it's like, it's just such mixed energy. So I think that their judgment is kind of all over the place. It's like where they don't know what they're doing next. They're just kind of like, like I was talking about in the other video. And I'm sorry, my camera keeps messing up, but I'm figuring it out. So, you know, in the near future, I, I should be able to do just straight, you know, hour long videos without having to cut them into two. Um, my phone just randomly cuts out. So sorry about that. Just bear with me. I'm figuring it out. Um, but anyway... You know, so many of these masculines, it's like with a star here, it's like they're they're planting the seeds, like they're hopeful. You know, they're trying to put this energy and intention in to um, you know, to reunite with their divine feminine. And I think so many of them are realizing that they're they're still I mean, so many of them are still sabotaging. Somebody here is still sabotaging. Somebody is in this devil energy where it's like sabotage, it's um old patterns. It's, there's a lot of energy, too, that is coming up to the surface just because they suppress their emotions for so long with the karmic. And they, you know, we're just kind of in this stagnant energy with this karmic. So it's like all these emotions are coming up to the surface now. And, you know, with the Five of Wands, this is like two people that are right next to each other. It's like they want to be close. They want to talk to each other. But they're, it's like she's pretending like she doesn't see him. He's pretending like he doesn't see her. It's like, but there's this desire there. Like they, they want to be near each other. And this is like the divine feminine and the masculine. It's like, you know, she's waiting for him. He's waiting for her. Um, you know, but I think he's understanding that he needs to reach out first and he needs to, to be in this kind of, um, you know, brave energy, this kind of strong, you know, masculine kind of energy. If he wants this new start with his queen of cups you know, with his true love, with this, um, with this woman that's emotional and vulnerable, you know, and if he wants her in this energy where she's emotional and vulnerable and, and receptive to him, he's going to have to be strong enough to step up and, you know, cut past his fears and, you know, fix this situation, you know, no more just kind of put planting seeds and hoping for the best. He needs to actually you know, embody this King of Swords energy. And the King of Swords, I don't usually see as someone that's emotional. But in this context, I see it as someone that's like, like he is emotional in this context. Does that make sense? Because I always read the cards intuitively. So I see that I always see the King of Swords as someone that's like very strong and very brave. That's like the most masculine card in the as far as the kings go. You know, he's very, um, he's logical, he's intuitive, he's very strong, he's very brave. And in this case, I feel like he's emotional, too, because he's, you know, it's like he's having the courage to to make these dreams a reality, to to um, to go towards his divine feminine, to get out of this these toxic, stagnant energies, to get out of this phase of miscommunication or no communication, you know, to stop just, you know, planting the seeds, stop, stop just hoping for the best and actually taking this king of swords energy and be strong enough to communicate, to, to move things forward, to have this new start with his queen of cups. Yeah. Eight of wands. So some of them are going to be coming in quickly with a message. It's really good. Some of them are afraid because they don't know what energy you're going to be in, but you're actually going to be very, um, you know, receptive. I feel like when, when he does come in. Yeah. Six of swords. I feel like you guys are going to be starting a new life together too. 
some of them are actually afraid that you've already started a new life without them, but it's not the case. Like some of them are just getting, it's like they make them, it's really weird because it's like they make themselves jealous thinking that you might be with somebody else, but you're not actually with anybody else. You're actually waiting to start a life with them. So it's, it's just weird that they just kind of make themselves jealous for like no reason when they don't really have any reason to believe that you're with someone else. Or maybe some of you try to make them jealous and it backfired. Like maybe some of them actually just assumed you're with someone. But it's like, I don't know. It's stupid that they would just assume. It's like they should find out, you know. Yeah, the, she's going to be the empress when you come forward. If you come forward quickly... You know, because that was kind of what we were talking about in the, in the this first the first video I was doing. The, um, so this is part two of this. You know, I was talking about how, you know, if you come forward quickly, if you get out of this energy of just, you know, being hopeful and, and you know, sabotaging and miscommunication and silence... You know, if you move forward quickly towards your feminine, she's going to be welcoming. She's going to be balanced. She's going to, you know, because we saw with the other energy in that first reading that I did that a lot of the feminines were kind of, um, like if the feminine has to reach out first, if she, if she was the one, if the masculine's the one that, that left and the feminine has to reach out first, she's going to be angry. She's not going to trust him. She's not going to have the same faith in him. But if he reaches out first... You know, she's going to have this temperance energy where she might be heartbroken and upset about things, but she's going to be balanced. She's going to be mindful. She's going to, you know, communicate with him in an open, vulnerable way where she's going to say, yeah, this hurt me and this hurt me, but I want to work through it with you. You know, it's going to be a much better, the energy is going to be much better if he reaches out first, much, much better. Um, and she's going to have this empress energy too, where it's like she's, um, you know, receptive and open to him. This is like a motherly nurturing energy too, where it's like she's going to be really gentle with him because she's going to understand that he just went through a lot. She's going to be very patient with him and very um, gentle and very protective and very loving with him and very, you know, have this temperance energy and be very mindful that he's been through a lot. Like really, she's going to be a lot more patient just because she's going to be thankful that, you know, there's some kind of communication. Even if it's something like, Hey, like, I miss you. How are you? You know, what's going on? Like, even just that is like, she's going to, she's going to know that that took guts, you know? Because the way I see it, everybody's afraid, but people decide what's worth it to them. You know what I mean? Like someone that loves you will push past that fear, honestly, in my opinion. Yeah, there's going to be a new start here. There's going to be, yeah, justice. I feel like there's going to be justice where, you know, she's not going to have to get in this energy and she's, there's going to be some kind of new start. It might require strength, but it's not going to be, um, how do I explain it? It's just a much different energy if he reaches out first, basically. Where it's like the five of swords is about like being defensive. It's like you see this energy is very like defensive guarded, but it's almost like there's like justice that comes in and kind of like changes that does that make sense it's like there's justice there so there's this new start without her having to be angry and guarded you know some of these masculines are in eight of swords energy though it's like they have a way out they have a way right in front of them to communicate you know to open things up to move forward with their divine feminine and so many of these these masculines are focused on materialistic things on money on you know, power on, you know, appearances. So many of them are trying to keep up appearances and all that's going to crumble for them. If they keep holding on to materialistic things like that, it's all going to crumble for them. It's not going to, you know, because the divine does, the divine does want them to have money and they do want them to have success. They want them to have everything they ever dreamed of, but you know, they have to have a balance between love and money and they have to um, start their own career or their own business or go on their own path. Because if they're trying to hold on to toxic people, and keep up appearances and impress all the wrong people, impress these toxic people, that's going to crumble, you know? And some, some of them are trying to keep up appearances, but it's not working. These people around them see through them. They know that they love you, even though they pretend like they don't. The Eight of Swords is like these swords are all around this masculine, and he's so focused on the swords that he doesn't realize he could just wake right up and walk out, walk out of this drama, out of this chaos, out of this energy, 
And right in front of him is his castle, his true love, his, you know, financial abundance, everything. A new start with finances right here with the Ace of Pentacles. Like everything he could ever want. Justice, you know, family, just everything he could want if he's just willing to get out of this Eight of Swords energy. Yeah, and find a balance, Two of Pentacles. So, um, yeah, he needs to communicate, though. He's got to communicate. It's time you know, communication with the, with the Queen of Pentacles. And, you know, the conversation is going to be balanced. It's going to be a good conversation if he's willing to take a leap of faith and put himself out there and be vulnerable and communicate with her. I see the conversation being really positive and something that um, allows them to both, you know, move forward together as a couple and, and rebuild together. So it's a really beautiful love reading. Um, I'm sorry again that my phone keeps cutting out. I'm going to work on that. I'm trying to figure it out. I just got a phone and I'm not very good with technology. So I don't know how to change. I don't know what to do with my phone to make it let me record videos longer. But um, but I'm figuring it out. So thank you guys for bearing with me. And as always, if you want a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. Thanks for watching.